All right, so our next guest takes on the role of a real-life superhero who helped put an end to the spread of a disease that killed nearly two million people. Here's a look. The people I work for, unfortunately, they will not accept a female in this position. What about the people of the Congo, Mr. Janssen? Who works for them? In the time that you and I have been speaking, how many villages have been lost? How many men? How many women? How many children have died? You fight for me, and I will fight for them. From the award-winning film Distemper, please welcome actress Abigail Hall! <laughs> That's me and the audience member. I play two roles. I get that. You I know, get that. Yeah, see? I felt right, it. So, so let's talk about this role that you play. You play Dr. Louise Pierce. She does not yes. take no for an answer, clearly, and she was a true trailblazer beyond the medical field even. So tell us a little more about the real Dr. Pierce. So Dr. Pierce uh, existed in a time where there really weren't any women in STEM, very, very few. And so she was going against the, the patriarchy from the beginning of her career. But she was the first female scientist to work for the Rockefeller Institute. And uh, she really wanted to make her mark. Um, she was all about progress and, and solving problems and being innovative. And she saw this uh, opportunity uh, to go to the Congo and she took it by the horns and went and saved you know two million lives um, and this time period is so fascinating because mm -hmm. you've got the Spanish epidemic going on you've got um, obviously trypanosomiasis African sleeping sickness all of the atrocities with the rubber industry in the Belgian Congo that were happening um, you know, just just an amazing time period, and she was just a pusher and a mover and a shaker. And I, I'm I'm very proud uh, that I get to bring her to life at least a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we are proud of the work you do here. And then, what's even great was that this past Friday there was a drive-in screening in Queens, and it was like up yeah. on the big screen. Yes, so it actually ended up because of the high winds from Friday. Um, it has been postponed, and I believe it's rescheduled for May 29th. So for anybody that missed it, you still Ooh. have a chance to. Yes, um, and I was actually out of town, so now I may get to go, and I'm super excited about that. Did you say I or did you say we? What did you say? Did you say we? You said I, but I keep hearing we may get to go. Okay, I'll go. Don't don't force me, <laughs> Abigail. Do not force me. <laughs> oh yes, you can be my date. If I'll, you insist. I'll let my husband know later. Yeah, yes, we'll we're let going. him. We'll let him know later. He knows. Fantastic. Tell, tell me it's a girls' night out. So so I will. when you're not taking on the role of a trailblazing doctor, you play a police detective on Blue Bloods. We also have a clip of you in action. We'll check it out and we'll chill chat. If I was still in the field, it never would have happened. You told me that if I felt I needed to move on, you wouldn't stand in my way. It's time. When Abigail says it's time, it is time. You know, you've been on the series for a while, right? And you yes. play Abigail. So nothing in common with the character at all. Nothing at all. Abs absolutely not. She's very intelligent. <laughs> Something funny about the name, because you, <laughs> you're a mess. No, I meant because you're Abigail and you play Abigail. So I was like, well, oh, you guys have nothing in common. What's interesting is that my character's name was originally Megan. Melissa. And it was an M name, yeah. I remember. Yes. Yeah. And and Mr. Tom Selleck felt that that was too ordinary for Detective Baker. So he liked my name. And behold, the legend was born. Well, if the legendary Tom Selleck says, change the name, what do we do? We change the name. And I'm That's not legendary, right. but I really want to know what plans you have for tomorrow. What are we doing? Ooh, well, you and I are going to go get some coffee outside because it's supposed to be a beautiful day. It's also what day again? May 4th? What's oh, May 4th? Oh, gee. Is that Star Wars Day? Yes. May the 4th be with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're putting me, it's, it's in the, Monday. What is, I just got my kids in what school. About, what about plans for Mother's Day, though? Oh, Mother's Day. It's well, Sunday. I will say that we are going to, we have a reservation for the Prospect Park Zoo. We're members of the Wildlife Conservation Society, so we hit up all the zoos uh, in New York City all the time. We love them. And then if we have time and our children haven't driven us to the brink of insanity and exhaustion, we're going to head across the street to the Brooklyn Botanical Garden. So will you be if if my stalkeration ways serves me right, will you be hula hooping at the gardens and the zoos when you get there? 
or oh no? Oh my God, you've gone on my Instagram. No, and I, I have not gone on your Instagram. Maybe I have. Truly, I'm truly humbled in this moment. I just <laughs> need a, you, I just are you need really a good moment. At, are you really good? I'm, I mean, I won our fifth grade Olympics. I'm just saying. Like, I'm really excellent. Let me um, tell you. At this, least I was. This, 10. our match was meant to be because we can go to the drive-in screening and then you can teach me how to hula hoop when we're in intermission, if there's such a thing at drive-ins. Done. Really? Done, yes. Uh, do I have the motion correct? I'll, I'll wear my silk, you wear your velvet, and honey, we're ready to go. All right, then. You've got yourself <laughs> a deal and a date. Happy early Mother's Day, though. And thank you. I appreciate that. This is me hula hooping. I'll, I'll be better after I, no, we hang I out. I get it. Oh, All right. I, I get it. Everyone, you can check her out in the short film, Distemper. And of course, you can also see her on Friday nights on Blue Bloods on CBS. Hula hooping. Bye, Abigail. Goodbye. We've Is that got the, the thing that, are we all like hula hooping now? <laughs> that's not, that's not it.